Hello YouTube, it's Exorcizzle. I am finally here to talk about Fatal Frame 4 today, the most confusing game ever. This game literally makes me want to kill myself. I've probably been working on just trying to figure out how to explain everything for two months now because it's that complicated. At least to me, maybe I'm a fucking idiot, but I'm pretty sure that nobody has any idea what's going on in this game. No one. A big reason for that is that the game was only ever released in Japan. I believe the main reasons it wasn't shipped overseas were that one, Nintendo America at least didn't want it because it was too buggy and Nintendo was a family console, and two, previous Fatal Frame games didn't sell enough overseas to warrant a translation team and new voice actors. It was just a really shitty situation for the Fatal Frame series at the time. This led to the creation of the English translation patch by a large group of Fatal Framers. I am very grateful for the patch because otherwise there's no way in hell I could ever play this game, but at the same time, I don't think that they got everything right in their translations. My reasoning for this is that the game made pretty much zero sense to me even after playing it four or five times until I watched Girl Gamer GAB's playthrough where she translated pretty much everything herself. Girl Gamer GAB is a Dutch woman living in Japan as a professional translator between Japanese, Dutch, and English. Prior to translating Fatal Frame 4, she translated the fifth game before it even came out and she got pretty much everything right. It made just as much sense as the official translation and in some ways was even better. You can disagree with literally everything I say in this video, this is just the way the game makes the most sense to me. I'll be using mostly GAB's translations, with some of the translation patch mixed in as well to fill in some blanks. So to begin with, let's first talk about the ancient Kiraigo or Homecoming, one of Rogetsu Island's oldest and most mysterious rituals. The Homecoming has been going on since around 300 years ago, possibly even longer ago than that if the Yomotsuki family weren't the only mask makers ever. Or maybe the Homecoming didn't even involve masks until so on, the first Yomotsuki to get involved made the first mask of the lunar eclipse. There is no evidence for this as far as I know, but it is possible. Five girls around seven years old were chosen by the Tsukimori Shrine Maidens, yet another semi-ancient ritualistic family on the island to become accompanists or kanade in the translation patch, based mostly on if the girls had a strong lunar melody or not. If someone has a really strong lunar melody, it generally means that they have a really good grip on reality and that they have spiritual power of some sort because they're actually closer to the afterlife than the rest of us. I'll come back to lunar melodies in just a minute. First, let's talk about what a vessel is. A vessel, or Utsua in the translation patch, was a woman chosen for her psychic abilities. She would meditate with her five accompanists in the Hall of the Unconscious Mind for 100 days to purify herself. She would forget everything, returning her to Area Zero, the place of origin, and in a way, the after. This actually caused some vessels to contract at Suyu Syndrome, but we'll get to what that means in a little bit. The second purpose of meditation was for everyone to become one with their masks, and maybe even for everyone to become in tune with the main strongest lunar melody, or the Tsukimori Song. The vessel would wear the mask of the lunar eclipse, the most special mask of all, and the accompanists would wear one of five masks based on what instrument they were in charge of during the ritual. As far as I know, there wasn't really a method to deciding which girl got which instrument, but I'm not really sure. Either because they were listening to the Tsukimori song every time they meditated, or because the masks were really just that hypnotizing, the girls eventually learned how to play the Tsukimori song perfectly and used it to open the door to the Hall of the Afterlife, where the Kiraigo, or Homecoming, was performed once every ten years on the night of a total lunar eclipse. During the Homecoming, the accompanists stand in the same circular formation they had meditated in previously with the vessel in the middle and play their respective instruments. By playing the Tsukimori song perfectly, the girls guide the island's excess spirits into the vessel. If the vessel properly meditated and managed to return to Area Zero while still maintaining her sanity and therefore her connection to Earth, she acts as a medium through which all the dead souls can return to the point of origin or the other side. Area Zero? Heaven? Whatever you want to call it. Apparently, the other side is a hole in the ocean though, and this still confuses me to this day. I have looked up and down for an explanation for why this is, but I couldn't find anything in game. The only one I could find was on the Zero Wiki without a source. Here's the quote. The reflection of the dark moon on the sea becomes the hole through which the souls of the dead depart, guided by the successful Utsuba, who becomes the channel through which they all flow. If there actually is an in-game note on this, uh, GAB missed it. Let me know if you know where it is, though, because I really want to know why the fuck this happens. Anyway, by sending the spirits back to Area Zero, the lunar noise surrounding the island is cleared and everybody can hear their own lunar melody again, giving them back their sense of self, and most of the time even curing their Getsuyu Syndrome. Getsuya Syndrome is caused by too many lunar melodies layering up on top of each other to the point where nobody can hear their own lunar melody anymore. A lunar melody basically represents a person's soul. The sound will change in pitch depending on what the person is feeling, but the underlying melody never changes. Here's an example.
Even though most people can't consciously hear lunar melodies, not being able to subconsciously hear your own lunar melody does cause a person to slowly lose their sanity and sense of self. It's kind of weird, but this is the best example I can think of. Imagine if you could hear literally everybody, both living and dead, talking over each other 24-7. If we're going on humans alone, that's supposedly 108 billion people. So first of all, I'm pretty sure you'd go deaf if they were condensed enough. But more relevant to this example, you literally wouldn't be able to hear your own thoughts or think straight. You'd lose your fucking mind, or in this case, your soul. That's how Get Serious Syndrome starts, and that's why the Kidaigo must be performed. And by Kidaigo, I still mean homecoming. The Omotsukis continued making the various sacred masks for the homecoming for seven generations until Soetsu, possibly the greatest asshole of all, was born. He was actually a really great mask maker and became the pride and joy of the island. He even got to present a mask to the Emperor. The Emperor! Unfortunately, something really terrible went wrong with Soetsu's mask of lunar eclipse. The game is really big on what happened, but this is what Soya says about it. He made a mistake when making it and then used it in the forbidden area. This translation is a little weird, GAB wasn't 100% sure on it, but still says it's better than the patch. But this leads me to believe that Soetsu's mistake when making the mask was putting it on himself in order to reach the forbidden area, or Area Zero, the place of origin or of the afterlife. If this is true, which it may not even be, then that means he was probably driven crazy and that explains why the mask came out so awful. The mask manipulated him, basically. Maybe the mask convinced him that the day without suffering would actually be best for everyone, and that's why it ended up occurring. If Soetsu didn't actually put the mask on, then something went wrong in the process of making it, so here's what we know about how to make the mask of lunar eclipse from the very few notes we find laying around. The main ingredient is the face of a dying person who has not yet bloomed but has budded, meaning they have minor Getsuyu syndrome but they're not completely gone yet and they're still not contagious. Yes, a dying person. They cut the face off of a dying person. I think the reason it's this stage in particular is because at this point, part of the dying person's soul is here on Earth and part of their soul has returned to the afterlife in a way, so there's a connection already embedded into their body and therefore their face allowing for an even stronger mask. After the face was cut off, it was brought to the Hall of the Conscious Mind to bask in the moonlight for one night so that it could dry out and get purified. The game specifically states that you cannot take the face out early, which seems pretty obvious, so maybe that's a hint that this is what Soetsu fucked up. After the skin was dried out, the mask was supposedly painted black to reflect both the lunar eclipse it was modeled after as well as the hole in the ocean leading to the underworld. I'm not sure what was used to make this black paint, but it would not surprise me one bit if it was the blood of a dying person who had budded but not yet bloomed. The only notes in the game talking about this black paint are newer ones based on Soetsu's failed mask though, so I'm not really sure if this is something that they used to do before Soetsu's time or if this is something Soetsu was the first person to do, in which case maybe this is another thing that you fucked up. We really don't know, unfortunately. Personally, of the theories listed above, I believe the most likely one is that Soetsu put on the mask and was hypnotized. We see the mask hypnotize many different people in the game, convincing them that they want to put on the mask and forget everything they've ever known. They want to forget all their pain. When Dr. Haibara writes about the mask for the first time, he pretty much says that he might be better off wearing the mask and forgetting his wife's suicide and daughter's sickness, even though I'm pretty sure he knew that if you put on the mask, it could really, really fuck you up. Dr. Haibara's assistant, Shoji Katagiri, writes, Whenever I see that mask, I feel like I'm losing my mind. I think I even want to try it on myself. This is some pretty strong evidence in my opinion that Soetsu put on the mask, but I'm still not entirely sure how he fucked the mask up. The game does explicitly state that no one is allowed to go to Area Zero while alive but the Maiden wearing the mask of the Lunar Eclipse, but it doesn't necessarily say that you must be a Maiden. In fact, it does not actually say anything about men partaking in wearing the mask, just that you must have a lot of spiritual power to be able to maintain your soul on Earth while still visiting Area Zero. If you're confused on how the selected vessels, or just anybody who put on the mask, visited Area Zero while still alive, think about it as dying for a few minutes and then coming back to life. Your body didn't leave, but your soul might have left, and then it came back to you. Maybe only a fraction of what it once was, as what might have happened in Soetsu's case. This seems like it would be a very appealing ability to some people, even without the hypnotic powers the mask already had to begin with, and I feel like the people it would most appeal to are people that work closely with the afterlife and the human soul, making Soetsu a strong contender. Anyway, the shittiest thing about Soetsu is that after his mask fucked everything up, most of the islanders decided to go around and burn literally anything relating to Soetsu that they could find. They didn't find everything, of course, thankfully, but they found enough stuff to put a serious dent in our understanding of who he was. It's shitty. So, with that in mind, here is my conclusion. I believe that Soetsu put on his own mask of the lunar eclipse and either tainted it with his non-maiden, non-spiritually sensitive soul, or he just went crazy and decided to do the stuff to the mask he wasn't supposed to do. I really have no idea which one of these things it is. Like, I can see it being either one. Personally, I am leaning towards he just went crazy, 
and did random shit to the mask. I don't think that he full-on tainted the mask, because that doesn't necessarily make sense. I don't know, maybe it does. Let me know down below. Something about him tainting, it just doesn't seem right to me. It just doesn't really make sense. I really don't know. But Allison, why is this important? What did Soetsu do to the island and what happened afterwards? We're still like 200 years back in time for 1980 when the game takes place. Why are you leaving us hanging, Exorcizzle? Well, I will answer all of those questions in the next part, hopefully. I think that this this part, Fatal Frame 4, explaining Fatal Frame 4 is probably going to take three or four parts. It's a huge fucking game. It's very, very complicated. Hopefully I can get it down to two, but I don't like my videos to go more than like 10 to 15 minutes. So... Yeah, I'm really sorry that I have to split it up like this. Hopefully I'll be back I'll be back within a week or two since these are going to be shorter than my usual Fatal Frame videos. But yeah, so if you don't want to miss those, make sure to subscribe. Like and comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this made sense. If you still have other questions and things you want me to cover in future videos, let me know because I will be happy to keep those in mind because I don't know what I should explain with Fatal Frame 4 because there's so much fucking stuff. I cannot tell you how much stuff there is in this game. Oh my god. <laughs> tell me what's confusing you, please, and I will try to figure it out, because I am also probably just as confused as you are. Anyway, I love all of you. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and goodbye. Remember... You will be severed.